There's a few key whitewater strokes you want to know when you're going to tackle some whitewater and that's whether you're going solo or you're going tandem. So the first one we're going to start with is the draw. Basically the draw is you're going to paddle out to the side, tuck your elbow in towards your body and draw the water towards you. Draw a stroke when you're paddling solo will side slip your boat. It'll make your boat drift directly sideways like this. So the opposite of the draw is the cross draw. You reach over, draw the water in and slice your paddle up forward like that. But when you get into those rapids and they're really pushy, you want to slow down and in white water, you gain control over your boat by paddling either faster or slower than the current. Another really important thing to know is the backstroke and that's basically just paddling backwards like that. One of the key things in whitewater that'll make you more comfortable and will get you down the rapids is knowing how to brace. Let's say I'm dumping to my right side like this. I'm going to slap the water and push myself back up. The high brace will save you from tipping to your off side. Tipping like this, I'm going to throw my body weight over this way and catch my body weight with my paddle and that'll save you from tipping. And one more really key whitewater stroke is the pry. Use the gunnel to balance the paddle and when you're in whitewater a really good thing to do is pump. Another thing that's going to help you in the rapids is a spray deck. It's basically a tarp that's custom made to fit over the top of the canoe and that means if you bomb a big wave your canoe is less likely to fill up and swamp with water. Those are a few things you want to keep in mind when you're going to tackle some white water. Learn them, get out there and practice and have some fun bombing some rapids.